Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456 and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install any music that you would like into a radio station in GTA 5 online. It will basically be your own radio station. You can do this in single player as well, but most people like to do this for online. It's very, very easy to do and I'm going to be showing you guys how exactly to do this. It's, it was a little difficult for me to find out at first, but once you get the hang of it, once you know what to do, it's very, very easy and I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. And if you do enjoy the video, a like would be very, very much appreciated. And also subscribe because I have a ton of stuff coming out and I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what all that stuff is later in the video so uh, as you can see here this is my this PC you can pull up my computer depending on what it's called you just need to find this folder right here and then you need to go into your whatever your computer is called mine is called Noah J456 so I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like for me here in just a second but you need to find your documents folder now this, this might be different than your libraries folder uh, my libraries folder has different stuff in it but my documents for this looks like this and then you'll find a file you can also just search for this it's a file called rockstar games it's it, you just find it and uh, this is the file path for me so far it's users no j456 documents rockstar game so yours might be uh, the name of your pc maybe what you called it right there and then uh, th this will be the file path but you do need to find find a file called gta v and once you find that file you'll see one called user music now this is the this is the holy grail this is where you want to go with your music because this is where you're going to be placing all of your different files right here so i'm going to show you guys a quick little tip on how to do this on iTunes if you have mp3 files linked to them uh, if it doesn't have an mp3 file if, if you bought it off iTunes or something like that it wasn't from a CD or other legal totally legal methods then you will not have this option but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right here so I have a Coldplay song that I hey I'm like hey I want this on my GTA 5 radio station I'm gonna go up to show in Windows Explorer and as you can three see you can check if it's an mp3 right here if you have the file extensions turned on and uh, so I yes it's an mp3 I can take this so here's my user music folder right here here is the the folder that my iTunes music is stored in I can go ahead and copy this and paste it into this and now my radio station is going to contain uh, Sky Full of Stars by Coldplay. You can do this for anything. So on the other side of the spectrum, we have a Skrillex song right here. Pretty much the exact opposite that you can get. Not the exact, but getting pretty pretty darn close. So I have a Skrillex song. It's an MP3. I'm good to go. I'm going to copy that over and paste it into the user music file. Now, I'm not going to use these songs in particular because I do need uncopyrighted music because I am doing this on YouTube. So I already have a little folder uh, kind of set up here with, with a whole bunch of uncopyrighted music that I'm going to drag in here. So that, that is going to be my user files and everything like that. And once you have everything in here, now there's a couple restrictions. Number one, you have to have more than one song. I think I found that four was the minimum. I'm not exactly sure. Just add as much music as you'd like and uh, just get some MP3 files. As you can see, all these files here are MP3. And once you are good to go with that, once you have all of the the copyrighted files whatever you want to use if you're not a youtuber you don't have to worry about it but uh put whatever music you want in there make sure you have at least four i think the minimum is two but i'm not completely sure on that just put in a couple files do everything like that and then you're ready to move on to the actual game so i'm gonna boot up my gta 5 and talk to you guys in just a second so again uh just drag drag the music files in there it's really as simple as that you just need to find the folder and uh let's get into the other half of the video so here we are in GTA 5 online. As you can see, I have my character here. You can do this in single player. You can do this in multiplayer. It does not matter. The process is the same. You're going to hit start, go over to settings, and then you're going to scroll down to audio. Now, as you can see, I already have mine set up. I already have it on self radio, but you can go ahead and uh, set that in just a second here. This will not show up until your songs are actually like embedded into the game. So self radio mode, you want to make sure that is set to radio or sequential or random. It just kind of depends on your, your preference here. Uh, put it to whatever you want and then auto scan for music. Just leave it on and it really doesn't matter. And and then you are going to scan for music. I just did a quick scan and then I did a full scan. It hardly takes any time at all, especially if you don't have any mods on the game. And once that is good to go, you have your radio station in the game that will play your music, whatever you would like. So I'm going to hop in my car here. And as you can hear, this is one of my songs right here. Uh, I, obviously, it's all copyrighted music and everything like that, or uncopyrighted music, or else I wouldn't be able to use it. So, uh, you, But you can do this to yourself if you're just playing. You're not a YouTuber or anything like that. You don't have to worry about music. Just throw whatever you want inside of there. It's always good to go. And uh, you can put Leonard Skinner. You can put, <laughs> you can put ACDC. You can put Kanye West. Literally any range of music. I don't know why that was. those were the first three that came to my head. I was thinking classics and then like opposite end of the spectrum with uh with kanye west there but whatever music you want you can put it all in it will act exactly like a radio it will turn off whenever you get out 
it will come back on whenever you get back in. And then obviously you're the only one who can hear this, uh, it seems to be. And other than that, that's, that's about it. So if you guys did enjoy this video, if you do enjoy GTA 5 PC videos, I'm gonna be doing a ton of mod videos. I'm gonna be doing a ton of stuff like that. So make sure you leave a like on this video and also subscribe if you've never been to a YouTube live stream before. I do a ton of those and it always it always turns out really well. I'm gonna have download links to all the mods I do and everything like that. I'm just gonna be doing showcases of just hundreds and hundreds of mods and I really, really cannot wait for, uh, for some of these things to be released. So, uh, I already have PC gameplay on my channel if you guys would like to check that out. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been NoahJ456. I'll see you guys in the next video and have a great day. Bye-bye.